While China and Russia have boosted ties since the military action in Ukraine, Washington has not seen any credible proof that Beijing has provided systemic material support to Moscow as the country reels under crippling Western sanctions and is desperate to boost defense production. One senior Treasury official, according to CNN, said that China is reluctant to help Russia, prompting Moscow to source material from North Korea and Iran. Meanwhile, while Russia has greatly augmented its arms production over the last few months to meet the demands of the ongoing war with Ukraine, it may not be enough. After fighting against Ukraine over the last 13 months and exhausting a wide range of weapons in the process, Moscow's struggle to sustain the increased production rates for its arms manufacturers will continue, experts believe. However, the statistics of the current rate of its arms production are something that should cheer Russia for the moment. Compared to the previous year, the manufacturing output index for sectors related to the Russian defense industry from January to February 2023 has revealed positive growth, says Dr. Pavel Luzan, a well-known expert on the Russian armed forces, who is presently at the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy, Tufts University, Boston. Luzan has calculated that this year's manufacturing output index, compared to the corresponding period from January to February 2022, was, for computers, electronics, and optical devices, 112.6%, for other transportation vehicles and equipment, 117.7%, and for chemical production, 94.2%. Of course, the supply indexes during the same period differ somewhat from the manufacturing indexes, for computers, electronics, and optical devices, 126.1%, for other transportation vehicles and equipment, 140.7%, for chemical production, 74%. But Luzon explains that this difference between the two indexes may be because, Russian companies recently supplied arms that were manufactured in late 2022 considering the known delays in the delivery of ordered arms and other systems. It may be noted here that Russian President Vladimir Putin and his senior ministerial colleagues have been touring the leading military-industrial complexes in the country over the last six months to emphasize the need to boost arms production. In 2023, the military-industrial complex will lack about 50,000 specialists. First of all, we are talking about highly qualified engineers of a very specific profile. The military industry can respond to their lack by a significant slowdown in growth, said Alexander Safanov, professor at the Department of Personal Management and Psychology, vice-rector of the Financial University under the government of the Russian Federation. However, directly or indirectly, replenishing arms used in Ukraine by all those involved in the war is a global issue. European manufacturers are also facing the same problem as the Russians in producing enough arms to supply Ukraine and meeting the security needs of their respective countries. In fact, arming Ukraine is stretching the US defense industry, too. In that sense, what Russia is experiencing may not be exaggerated beyond a point. But one thing is clear. And that is the fact that the Russian defense industry is facing a serious challenge of operational sustainability, contrary to what the official statistics reveal.